All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Sonny Shima. Guys, uh, today I'm taking you inside this palace and also the palace museum, guys, to show you the beauty of this palace and also the museum, what you can find inside the museum, you know, the beauty of this palace, you know, the magnificent things about this museum inside this palace, guys. So, guys, if you want to see everything about this palace, everything about this museum inside this palace, come, let's go, guys. Let me show you what you have to see. Let's go! Guys, you see this tree over here? There's history behind this tree, which I will tell you in this video. But before then, let me show you the view of this palace museum. common name for this tree is called Indian rubber tree. Scientific name for it is Ficus elastica. Yes, family name for it is Morasi. Local name for it is Abere in a Santi tree. Yes, this tree was built in the year 1916. It's a tropical tree. Yes, it is a tropical tree. When I said tropical tree, it means it's not a local plant at all. So, until they acquire this land and built this palace for the king, British people planted this tree in order for this palace to become more nicer and, you know, other stuffs. It's almost 100 years here from 1916 oh hey 100 years that this tree has survived inside this palace guys hope you are seeing the tree now let's talk about this beautiful palace guys this palace came to be in the year 1924 when they captured the 13th king nana ajumai prempe the first so when he was returning back home by that time they burned his own palace at Edum. Yes, Edum is here, is located here in Kumasi, Ghana, as a commercial area. He was having the palace there. So through the war had with the British, they burned his name palace. So after 28 years. When he was returning back from prison, they have to do what? They have to find a place for him to live as an Asante king. So, this land, you are seeing this palace now. This land was belonging to Tafo king. Yeah, Tafo too is a town here in Kumasi, Ghana. So, Tafo king said that he will give this land to the king. Yes, this land you are seeing, this palace you are seeing, he said that he will give it to the king so that they can build this palace on it for the 13th Asante king called Nana Ajimai, Prempe the first. So that is why it is called Menchia Tafoene. So it became Menchia Palace. But Asantis did not accept this gift as a compensation but rather 
paid for it fully before the king lived in it in the year 1925. So that is how uh, it resulted here, becoming the Menshia Palace and its museum. So the 13th king lived here, which is the Prempe the first. The 14th king also lived here, Prempe the second. The 15th king lived here, Nana Opoku. So the year 1995, the 15th king transferred this palace into a palace museum. When he built a new palace behind the museum, that is where Asante King, the present king, is living at the moment. That is the gate over there you are seeing right now, that place. It leads straight to his residential place. In this palace also, there are departments from stew area. You come to lands commission over there. You can, you can also, uh, they, they also have radio stations over here inside this palace. And here is a museum department. Before they turned this palace into the palace museum, it used to be the main palace. Yes, this is the main palace before, as of then, before they built another one behind it. Remember the time I said it in the video? They built another one behind it, where the present king is now staying, which is the tomb for. But this is the main palace before. But now, they've turned it into the museum. So this is a museum palace now. So behind it is the current palace. So here is the sculpture of the former kings. Yes, the 13th king, and uh, which is uh, Prempe the first, and the 14th king, which is Prempe the second, and the queen mothers. So we couldn't take the pictures. So this was the picture I took before they said, no, 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 don't take picture. Don't take videos. So this was the one I was able to take. Who can tell me story about this golden stew? So if you know anything about this golden stew, please kindly share with us in the comment section. But if you don't know anything about this golden stew, let me know in the comment section so I can talk about this golden stew in my next video, guys. So subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Bye. See you in my next video, guys.